Hi, this is Marco Wu from eProgrammer.com. Um, I'm going to talk about a elliptic filter in this video. So first of all, I am making a second order elliptic filter. The sample frequency for the data is a thousand hertz. The cutoff frequency is 10 hertz. The passing band PQP dB is 0.5 decibel. The stop band attenu attenuation is equal to 20. The following is the syntax of creating a elliptic filter. The first input is the order. The second input is the pass, pass band P2P dB. The third input is the stop band attenuation. The fourth input is the luminator's frequency, luminator's cutoff frequency. To build up a low pass filter, the fifth input is optional. You can type L O W low or leave it or leave it just for input. To enhance the filter, I'm choosing feeds this function. The first input, the first two input is the output from the filter. The third input is the numbers of points. The last input is the sampling frequency. What you can see is the result. At the cutoff frequency, you go to 10 hertz, it, well, it seems like there is nothing changed. Change the order equal to 4. Create the same filter except the order is equal to 4. Do the same analysis. This time, we see some difference. At 10 hertz, you see a significant drop. Now I want to compare two filters. Both of them are elliptic filters. One of them is second order. The second one is the fourth order. B4A4 represents the fourth order filter output. B2A2 represents the second order output. To compare the, da the filter, the best way is using some data. Now I create a data at a thousand hertz using a sinusoidal wave and I will add some noise into the data. Now I plot the noisy data. And I also plot the original data.
you can see the red is the original data, the blue is the loyalty data. Now I create... I'm using the second order filter to filter out the noise. And Y2 is output from the filter. Y4 is the output of the noisy data through the fourth order elliptics system, elliptics low pass filter. I'm going to port Y2 and Y4, the output from the second order filter and the output from the fourth order filter and compare the difference. The fourth order output is in red color. You can see basically the second order output and the fourth order output can create a very clear signal. Can build out the noisy signal. But what is really the difference? If you zoom in, we should be able to tell the difference. You can see the red curve is behind the, uh, the blue curve. That means the group delay is higher 